Do black cats fill you with dread? Do you avoid making plans when Friday falls on the 13th? Are you careful around ladders, mirrors, and salt? If so, you're following some centuries-old ideas about objects and activities that bring bad luck. But have you ever stopped to wonder why? In many cases, the origins of these superstitions have multiple layers, meaning they might go back to pagan, Christian, medieval, or Victorian beliefs all at once. In other cases, the story is far more modern than you might think. Read on for some of the strange and surprising stories behind our most common folk beliefs. In the United States, we say, knock on wood, in the UK, it's, touch wood, in a variety of situations, like after mentioning something we hope will happen, or while discussing something good that we want to remain in a positive place. It's a means of averting misfortune, making sure we don't tempt fate. Some explanations for the practice mention a Celtic or otherwise pagan association with tree spirits, the idea being that knocking on wood, particularly once sacred trees like oak and ash, might awaken these deities and confer their protection. Others note a Christian association with the wood of the cross. But the origins of this practice are probably much more modern and banal. In a dictionary of English folklore, scholars Jacqueline Simpson and Steve Roud note that the earliest known reference to the practice only dates to 1805. It seems linked to 19th century children's games like Tiggy Touchwood, types of tag in which children were safe from capture if they touched something wooden, like a door or tree. In his book The Lore of the Playground, Roud writes, Given that the game was concerned with protection, and was well known to adults as well as children, it is almost certainly the origin of our modern superstitious practice of saying, touch wood. The claim that the latter goes back to when we believed in tree spirits is complete nonsense.